Hey what's up guys, so today we've got some of the first information surrounding the highly anticipated and upcoming LEGO Star Wars set, the UCS Republic Gunship. So the article and all the information that I'm going to be using today is coming directly from Brickset as they had some form of sit down talk with some of these Star Wars designers. So what I'll do is I will leave a link in the description to this article so if you wanted to check it out yourself then you can always do that, a link will be in the description. However if you aren't already please do consider subscribing to the channel as it helps out a lot and you'd get to see all my upcoming and new videos. But without further ado, let's take a look at this article. So it starts off by saying, following a conversation with several LEGO Star Wars designers and fan media outlets today, we can reveal some information about the Ultimate Collector Series Republic Gunship, which will be released this year. Firstly, the model has been designed by Hans Burkhard Schlommler, I believe is how you pronounce his name, and he's the creator of the UCS Millennium Falcon, the UCS A-Wing, as well as many other sets. Talking specifically about the Republic gunship, it says the cockpit section comprises of two 10x4x3 cockpit elements, which are positioned end to end and are accurately detailed. So what I think that means is there's going to be two different cockpit elements which are kind of placed one behind the other, and they're going to be decorated with either some stickers or some printing I would hope, seeing as it is a UCS set but it says featuring a suitable red dark stripe over the gunner and printing around the edges. So yeah, like I said, there's going to be some printing on them cockpit elements. But then it goes on to say, based upon this information, we can estimate the total length of the Republic gunship to be approximately 50 centimeters to 55 centimeters. It was suggested that a small coffee table might be needed when displaying the model, presumably because the substantial wingspan which should roughly equal the length. So what that means is from the left wing to the right wing, or vice versa obviously, it will measure roughly the same, so around 50 to 55 centimeters in length and width. This article also says, furthermore, the design team confirmed that this vehicle will be inspired by its appearance during the Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones, rather than the Clone Wars or Revenge of the Sith where the vessel also appears. Unfortunately, it was also indicated that Jedi Bob will not be included. No other information about the minifigure selection could be revealed at this time. So that is pretty much the entire article, I will leave a link to that in the description. However, what is interesting is one, the size, this is going to be around 50 to 55 centimeters, which is big. But what I also find interesting is that this will be based off of episode two, Attack of the Clones, rather than the Clone Wars or Revenge of the Sith. So what that could mean for the minifigures at least is that we might get Yoda, some clone troopers, as well as maybe Mace Windu, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Padme, people like that from that large Geonosis battle scene. I think that would kind of be the scene that they would be basing this off of. But with that being said, what are your thoughts on this set? Are you excited for it? Are you interested in picking it up? Let me know in the comments section down below. But if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It helps us out a lot and you'd get to see all my latest videos. But that is going to do it for today. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it or if this is the first time that you're hearing this information. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.